Dear students, let's start another subtopic which belong to the coastal or to the coast, which is called Kolo Coast. I think you have heard this word, Kolo Coast. Kolo Coast, this refer to the limestone rock formed near the coast, below the latitude or to the low, low, low tide level by deposition of mean sea organism called polyps. Here, we are just talking about uh, some materials or living things which can be taken place within the water bodies, especially to the ocean, nearby the ocean, but not far away from the coast. Therefore, whenever we're talking about coral coast, this refers to the limestone local formed near the coast below the low tide level by deposition of means organism called coral polyps. Therefore, in order to call this is the coral coast, it is because we see some organism which is called polyps. Dear students, here you have to remind yourself that within water bodies, especially within the ocean, there is some there is some creatures which can be dying or can undergo death due to the maybe changes of the currents within these areas. For instance, fishy, fishy, or for instance, wherever the boats or the ship will be drained within the ocean, and the people can be or can undergo death. Therefore, this organism. After the death, it should be swept with the strong winds or with the strong waves to the, to the coast areas. Therefore, organism, this organism, it should be decomposing and cause for the formation of some organism, which is called polyps. Polyps. But you have to remind that this polyps is after the decomposition of creatures, for instance, people, or fish which can be belonging within the water bodies. Therefore, after this decomposition, it can regrow or growing of some another creatures or organism which is called the polyps. Therefore, this polyps is consists of some condition, but wherever this polyps will lack some condition, therefore, even itself can be death can undergo death and to change from living things and to undergo coral reefs. Therefore, coral reefs, this is a limestone local after the death of some creatures which was decomposed, decomposed before and form for, for our organism. Therefore, coral coast is a coast characterized by presence of coral deposit. Dear students, you have to different these weights the mean of coral and the coral coast. Coral coast is a coast characteristic by the presence of coral deposit. Example, coral reefs, like barriers, fringing, or atoll. Coral reefs do not occur everywhere. It is just distributed over the different areas regarding the necessary condition for the formation. Therefore, Wherever you are talking about distribution, this is just Mtawanyiko or the spreading of this organism. Because this organism is, is not taking place everywhere. It's just taking place according to some condition. But this, this organism, which is called polypsy, to undergo growth or to, to grow is just depending on of different condition. Among this condition is warm temperature condition with about 21 degrees centigrade in the sea water. Dear students, here I have to remind you that although this organism is just taking place within water bodies nearby the, the coast, but it should be the temperature of that water body is of 21 degrees centigrade so as to grow this organism unless it will no longer to, to exist. Because wherever the temperature will be increasing, will be harm to this organism, or wherever the temperature will be decreasing, even itself can be harm to this organism. Therefore, this organism is just depending on its certain temperature of about 20, 21 degrees centigrade. Another, another condition for growth of this organism is 
fresh salty seawater frees from sedimentary or hence cannot grow around the river mouth. Dear students, this organism is just living in the place of salt water. Not is it just prohibited to grow or is no longer to take place nearby the, the fresh water, for instance, in the river or along the river mouth. It's just taking place whereby there is the sea, where uh, there is uh, an ocean whereby it can consist of uh, serene or salty. But you have to remind yourself the meaning of uh, sea and uh, ocean. As I reminded you that sea and the ocean is likely to each other. The only difference is that sea have, have no salt water, but the ocean is having salt water. Because the water or the river which is just draining in the sea is from, is from different areas. But sea, it can be prolonging or drained from one channel. Another condition for growth of this sea coral reef sea is enough oxygen. Also, the another condition for this polypsy or organism to grow are the ones which can cause for the coral reef sea is oxygen. This is the air which is very potential to this organism. And wherever this uh, oxygen will be absent, even this organism can, can undergo death. Another is sunlight which can penetrate to the depth of about 55 up to 60 meters. Dear students, the ocean, the deepness or the basin or the depression of the ocean, it should be nearby this organism. Therefore, in order to grow this polypsy or this organism, is, it should be near the depth, it should be not deep in nature so as to allow the penetration of sun rays to this organism because this organism is just is not living or is not growing mostly to the area whereby the sun rays cannot hit or reach to those organism therefore it's just depending the area of about 55 up to 60 meter above the the water bodies or the ocean to the organism Another is the food supply in the water. For instance, uh, an organism which is called the planktons, which can be used for feed the organism. Also, this organism, which is called polypsy, it should be need some, some foods like planktons. The planktons, these are things, or living things, plants can be growing on, on, on those areas whereby this organism can be consuming so as uh, to exist as, as it is food. Another condition for growth of these coral, coral leaves is the presence of low tides level. Hence, coral leaves cannot occur over the landmass. Therefore, you have to remind it is not taking place to the area of landmass. It is just taking place nearby the coast, but within water bodies, whereby the shores can be draining the those materials. Therefore, this organism is not living out of water bodies. It's just living or is just growing mostly to the area of water bodies, but nearby by the coast. Because it is not can be grown at the middle of the ocean due to, due to the deepness of that area. Dear students, this color cost is just consists of three types. Hence, types of coral leaves is analyzed as below. First, there is fringing leaves, barrier leaves, and atoll leaves. Here, you have to be keen so as to understand this structure or the difference between these three types. We'll, let's start with the fringing leaves. This is the type of coral leaves which is formed when the coral polyps accumulated on the landmass below the low tide sea level, seaward separated from the coast by shallow lagoon. Therefore, this organism is just taking place nearby the coast, but it is appearance is just separated with a shallow lagoon. Shallow lagoon, this is a 
basin is a shallow basin which can be taken place that have been uh, constructed or have been made with this organism where the material for this creature like fish it can be go to that areas and to consume those materials for this, for this plankton and uh, polyps so as to to uh, uh, is just the fish fish is just going to this area to consume this uh, organism like plankton or polyps and uh, this fish it can be growing and to be healthy in in nature therefore the uh, fringy reefs is just taking place to the water bodies nearby the the coast and uh, just forming a shallow lagoon like what is shown on this uh, area Dear students, another type of coral reefs is barrier reefs. These are the similar to the fringing reef in appearance and the medium of formation. The only strict difference is that the barrier reefs extend far from the coast and it is separated from, from it by deep lagoon. You have to remind yourself the distance of fringing and the barrier is likely to each other. But this barrier is just far away from the coast. But the condition which allow for growth of this organism is the same. Even the deepness of the of this barrier reefs, it should be basing only 50, uh, 55 to 60 meters deep. Therefore, although the fringing, the deepness, it is deep is low, but this one is far less, but is not across or is not exit to, to 50, 55 or to 60 meter. Therefore, the appearance is likely, but this barrier, the appearance or the depth is larger than the one which is from the, the fringing. And shown on the structure like what he is observing. Another, another one is atolls. Atoll, these are the circular leaves formed by deposition of the coral polyps over the islands in the mid-ocean. It is separated by the circular lagoon. Dear students, this kind of coral leaves is just growing within water bodies whereby there is the island and that island is not imaged on the water bodies. It's just within water bodies. But for instance, this ocean. But within the ocean, there is an island. Wherever this organism will be deposited along this island, deposited within this island, it should be forming a circular like structure or like shape within water bodies. Therefore, this kind of of, of polyps or of coral reefs is just taking place within water bodies, but is just attaching or is attached to the to the landmass, for instance, island, but is just forming and 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 they take the formation of circular like shape, like what is observing or shown on this structure. Dear students, let me describe the origin of the coral reefs. The formation of some types of coral reefs is under controversies, but this is no any controversies on the formation of fringing reefs since it is just formed by the position of coral plates. Below are the low, below the low tide sea words, the main controversies is on the formation of barrier reefs. And atolls. This is because of the following reason. Atolls are formed on the island. How comes? While coral reefs cannot develop only randomness. Another controversy is why are the barrier reefs formed far away from the from the coast and separated from it by deep lagoon. Because of these controversies, some of them. Uh, some of the uh, theorists or great thinkers were developed to explain the origin. However, this theory is not completely true, but we are just looking on the one 
which sound reasonably or can be sound as is shown or is explained as a reality. Below are some theories which is described with greater thinkers. All theories explain the origin of various reefs and atolls. According to these theories, which was discovered with the philosophers or great thinkers, the first great thinker was Darwin's theory. The theory explained that, or Darwin, he explained that the barrier reefs and the atoll were formed because of the substance of the landmass. First stage was the formation of region reefs of the sides of island below the low tides level. For instance, this is the first one, whereby the landmass was likely. But in the second one, there was some, some sides, or in kama kitu kimifunikwa na maji, au kimezama na kuonekana kama kinavyo onekana hapa. Or the third one, the third stage was totally submerged. Uh, for instance, for the first one, the island was imaged, or was raised up to the water bodies. But due to the increase maybe of water bodies, that land mass was just subsidized or if you know, and to form for a toe, like this is shown, which is forming a circular like structure. But there is another philosophers or great thinkers who was making or who was making the, the argument, who is called Darius. Theory. This theory explains that there was a rise of sea level, which resulted from melting of ice during glacial periods. This rise led uh, to the submergence of island and hence continued deposition of coral polyps. Uh, before melting of ice, this landmass was deposited with ice. But along this area, it should be deposition of polyps or of coral reefs. But after the mate of this material can lead for the formation of plane-like structure or circular-like structure at the concave one, uh, like what is shown in this area. Therefore, this landmass was the deposition of snow, and the material was deposited in a, or polypsy, or corypsy was deposited as sites. But after this, May, this is not to melt during summer period. This material was melted, or this snow was melted in the cause for the formation of circular -like, like structure. This is the argument of Darry's theory. How the these types of of corals can be made. For instance, according to Darry's to Darry's theory, we was argued that it was due to the deposition of some ice or snow at the top of that land mass. Even the material can be deposited aside or beyond of this area. But after this ice to melt, it caused for the circular like structure, like what is you are just observing on this structure. Not only that, but also there was another greater thinkers who was making the argument or he, he was provided a theory this guy was called Murray's. According to Murray, this theory explains that the origin of the atolls and the barriers was not due to the submergence, but continuous of deposition of coral polyps on the sides of the islands. When the coral polyps, for instance, fridging reefs, was formed, there was continuous deposition of coral reefs since they deposited of other polyps, of other polyps. Due to the wave action, some barrier reefs were destroyed. Eh? You have to remind yourself that within the ocean, there is strong winds which can be destroyed this material. Eh? But the eroded materials were reefs, eh, were, eh, were reefs destroyed, but the eroded material were deposited towards the land mass, which is the island. Hence, when this accumulated more, they lead to the formation of atoll and the polyps uh, covered by the island, like what is just shown on this structure. Therefore, the formation of this one was the fridging, but 
material was deposited along. But due to the desertion of this, this, this leaves or these corals due to the strong winds was caused for the formation of a toe. But by then it was not a toe. Was the fridge in the structure, but due to the slow winds, destroyed some properties or some reefs and cause for the formation of a toe. Dear students, let me describe the global distribution of coral reefs. Wherever you're talking about global, this is all over. Or oh, which places is most affected or the distribution of this organism? Because this coral reef is no longer taking place all over the world or taking place anywhere. It's just looking according to its condition. Therefore, the global distribution of coral reefs is raised as below. Coral reefs are distributed in areas where there is a condition for their growth, mainly along 30 degrees north and south of the equator. It's in parts of continents where there are many warm currents. Dear students, according to the topic of climatology, which is belonging or at the part of the earth of atmosphere, we described about the natural region of the world, for instance, the one which is just starting from 30 degrees north and south to 40 or 45 is like to the Mediterranean areas. Therefore, most of those areas is just affected with this organism of coral reefs. Hence, other areas around the coast of Australia, example, Great Barrier Reef, which is the largest coral reef in the world, around some other lands in India Ocean and Indian Ocean, example, mountainous, etc., and around some parts of Pacific Ocean. But in East Africa, the, the more areas which is just affected is Mombasa.